Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Next Week with Jeff Durbin. Thank you all for joining us. Very excited about our next guest. We are having Eric Hoven from Creation Today. He is going to be here today talking to us about the first biblical 3D film ever. It's going to be on 1,200 screens nationwide. It's called Genesis 3D. Welcome, Eric Hovind. What's up, Jeff? How you guys doing, man? Good, brothers. Good to see your face, man. Thank you. It's great to be on the show with you. You guys are pioneering brand new uh, technology and making a Christian sit or a night show possible funny without filth. I love it. Oh, wow. That's, that's a huge blessing, man. Thank you so much for that. that. That means a lot to us. Hey, so man, you've, you've always been on the cutting edge of, of a lot of things and that's exciting. It's, 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 it's always encouraging, inspiring to us to see some of the things that you're doing. This is actually very exciting. I got a chance to take a look at some of Genesis 3D. It looks brother. It looks beautiful. Um, it, it really is, uh, 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 I think, a, a powerful opportunity, and you guys are doing it right. Uh, it's not the typical sort of standard uh, cheesy Christian media. <laughs> it looks really, really good. So it, introduce us to Genesis 3D, brother. Well, thank you for those compliments. I, I get the blessing of not being able to take any of the credit other than saying yes to a great idea. Ralph Streen is the director and the producer, and he's literally spent the last seven years of his life, last five years full time. I mean, we're talking 16, 18 hour days wow. full time producing this world's first here. And it's, it's, it's an experience that we're gonna give to people at the theater next Monday and next Thursday only. It's a Fathom event. And you get to go to the theater and experience the creation of the world on the big screen. And if you choose 3D, you get to experience it in 3D as well. Uh, we're excited because I think it does a great job of hitting exactly what you guys like to hit. It presents evidence, but it does it in a presuppositional way that says, if you don't start with scripture, your whole worldview is gonna be messed up. So yeah. I think this film does a great job of starting with creation from the right perspective and taking us right to the need for salvation, which is what you guys are always talking about. Well, that's a great encouragement, man. And it's exciting. I think what I appreciate about you, Eric, so much is just your approach in terms of, um, uh, we have so much evidence, e evidence all around us. It's overwhelming, but you stand yeah. firm on the biblical worldview and God's revelation as the principium, as a starting point of all of your thinking, demonstrating that if you don't start with God, you can't have science. You can't even have a study of history that's meaningful. You can't have logic or ethical obligations to be honest as you present evidence. And so you do all that, but you also do it in a way where you demonstrate what is all around us and should be obvious to everybody. Now, you also have some, some very interesting uh, interviews in the movie as well, Eric. Tell us about some of the people that you interviewed for the film. We were really blessed. We worked with Answers in Genesis, which is the leading creation organization in the world today. They've got the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. We filmed at the Creation Museum at night. So we had 10 nights at the museum interviewing Ray Comfort, Ken Ham, Dr. Vody Bauckham, uh, and Bo Dr. Bauckham is the narrator in the film, Dr. Georgia Purdom, Dr. Tommy Mitchell, Dr. Jeremy Lyon, a Hebrew expert. We got a geology expert, a, a microbiology expert. The people are gonna hear how science continually confirms what God's word says over and over and over as they literally experience the creation account and they hear scripture, but more than just hearing it, they watch it happen. I don't know, you, you've seen the Nova and Discovery Channel shows, right? Where they have some guy talking about how life evolved in the water and then crawled up onto land. And they show this thing crawling from the water into la onto land and people go, ah, it must have happened that right, way. Right, right. And we go, no, 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 that's not what happened. But they're fooling people um, and they're using a teaching technique by just simply making it visible. We thought, well, let's apply the same technique but let's teach the truth. Let's actually apply the truth of God's word to uh, the, the, the teaching style and let people experience creation. So this really is a first uh, opportunity for people to go out and experience creation in theaters. And guess when it's happening, Jeff? The next week. Next week, baby. That's next right. week. That's right. <laughs> so you said Mondays and Thursdays, there's 1,200 theaters uh, nationwide. Um, and let's do this. Let's give everyone an opportunity to see a clip. Uh, Marcus, go ahead and roll that clip. You know, a lot of people will say, well, it just seems so hard to believe the Bible because of all those miracles and everything. Well, the Big Bang's a miracle. The evolution of life would have to be a miracle, and the changing of that life into all the origin of the species all require violations of the laws of science. To believe there's no God 
you're gonna have to believe in miracles without a miracle maker. To believe that evolution is true, you're gonna have to violate some of the main, most important principles and laws of science that have been agreed upon. Not only does the evolutionary atheist worldview violate the first law of thermodynamics, that's against a principle of science, but also Louis Pasteur proved spontaneous generation wasn't true, but all evolutionists, every evolutionist believes in spontaneous generation of life. This whole evolutionary concept that life came from non-life, it actually violates a law of science. It is one of the only laws in biology, it's called the law of biogenesis. It says that life comes from life, not non-life. The law of biogenesis that says all life comes from pre-existing life, and yet evolution says that life can come from non-life. Surprise, if you just wait long enough. People just believe it blindly. Very good, Eric. Looks beautiful. I'm super excited about this opportunity that you guys have to produce something that's beautiful, that is, uh, that is well done, that tells a, a proper story, that stands on the Word of God. Uh, one of the things that I like to try to encourage believers to do is to use the great benefit, the tool that we have of social media, the internet, and, and, and just media in general to share the truth. I mean, it's exciting, Eric, because, and I know you'll appreciate this because you use this, uh, not very long ago when you had opportunities to proclaim the gospel or to teach, you really had that one moment in time. You had that church service or you had that street corner and you had the audience that was just right before you. And really, perhaps the only way you had to communicate what was said is maybe somebody wrote it down. And then we moved into audio and then we moved into uh, being able to do, you know, film and actually take pictures and photography, cinematography. And now we can share that content around the world. Can you talk to us, Eric, just, just as a final word here about the importance of participating with you guys in going to the theater, buying a ticket, and then beyond that also sharing the content and uh, letting people know about what's going on. Talk to us about how important that is. Would love to, Jeff. This is two things that are really critical. Number one, video media in, in the form of movies is the language of the culture. How many people today have read Darwin's Origin of Species? Not many. How many have watched Jurassic Park? Millions. Right. Video and movies is the language that we've got to communicate to the culture in. This film does that. This is one that Christians are going to go to the theater and they're going to go, oh my goodness, finally, a film that really presents what we actually believe and it doesn't hold any punches. I love this. And then they're going to say, I want my unsaved friends to see this. It's done with excellence. It's done in a way that Christians are actually going to be incredibly, incredibly proud of. And what's getting this out there, because we can't do a, if we went theater uh, to the theaters weekend after weekend, minimum budget, $15 million. We didn't have that. So we did fathom, which means we're dependent on the people sharing this message and sharing this film on social media, letting them know that, hey, next week, with capital next and capital week, you know, tagging Apologia in it, nice. uh, next week, Genesis Paradise Lost is going to be in the theaters on November 13th and November 16th. They're going to experience creation. They're going to hear the evidence in a presuppositional way, and they're going to be blown away. And I believe many are going to come to Christ. People that believe in evolution are going to have a crisis of faith after they see this. Oh, that's excellent. And I, and I do want to say last word here. From what I did see of the film, again, it was beautiful. It, was, it really is well done. I do appreciate that you speak in the film so much toward the culture that we live in and the importance of actually, uh, as Christians, facing it and overcoming it and uh, demolishing every argument that exalts itself Amen. against the knowledge of God. That's important. All right, guys, that's Eric Hovind. Creation Today, the movie is Genesis 3D. Next week, 1,200 theaters nationwide. Make sure you guys get a ticket, participate, let everybody know about it. Eric, your blessing as always. Hope to talk to you soon, brother. Thank you very much, Jeff. Tickets, GenesisMovie.com. God bless, guys. God bless. Next week with Jeff Durbin, the late night show with the unpopular opinion. Tuesday, only on Facebook Live.